Welcome to Bahamas Educational Express Social Studies Lesson, Nation Builders. In this lesson, learners will be able to list the people or list people who have made special contributions to the Bahamas and also to complete a booklet on a Bahamian nation builder of their choice. We are all important to the Bahamas in different ways. Our country needs us all. Whether we work in business, a bank, the tourism industry, whether we are musicians or athletes or teachers. Let's look at our first nation builder, Mr. Timothy Gibson. Mr. Timothy Gibson wrote our national anthem. March on Bahama land is the name. And also a well-known song called Beautiful Bahama Land. He was honored by the Queen for his service to the Bahamas and our country. He was born at Savannah Sound, Eleuthera on the 12th of April, 1903. Our second nation builder, Sir Milo B. Butler. Sir Milo Butler was the first Bahamian governor general. He was born on 11th of April, 1906, and was educated in Nassau and Florida. He was knighted by the queen. He died in 1979 and is remembered for his struggle for the rights of black people. The third is Dame Alberta Isaacs. Dame Alberta Isaac was born in Nassau in the 1900s. When she left school, she became a teacher she was a very keen tennis player. She introduced the game of tennis to the Bahamas and helped to set up the, the gym tennis club. She became involved in the women's suffrage movement when women finally gained the right to vote in 1961. She was made a Dame Commander of the British Empire in 1974 the first Bahamian to be honored in this way. Next, the Honorable Roland Simonet. Sir Roland was a shrewd businessman. It helped him gain great wealth and political influence. In 1964, he became the first premier of the Bahamas and is noted as the longest serving member of the House of Assembly, 52 years. He is remembered for his dedicated service to the Bahamian people. Next up is Sir Lyndon Pinling. Sir Lyndon Pinling was the first prime minister of the Bahamas. He was educated in NASA, then in England, where he studied law. As a young lawyer, he joined the Progressive Liberal Party, the PLP. Later, he became leader of that party when it was in opposition in parliament. He threw the mace out from the window of the House of Assembly in 1965. Sir Lyndon became our first prime minister when the PLP won the general election in 1967. He lost power in 1992. Up next is Sir Etienne de Puch. Etienne de Puch spent most of his life struggling against racial discrimination in the Bahamas. 
He was the editor of the Nassau Tribune for 53 years and was also a member of parliament for many years. He used his newspaper and his voice in parliament to end discrimination against black Bahamians. Although he had the Bay Street Boys against him, he won an important victory in 1956 and changed the history of our country. Next, we have Mr. Hubert Ingram. Mr. Ingram became our second prime minister of the Bahamas in August of 1992, where his party, the Free National Movement, FNM, won the general election. He was born on Grand Bahama on the 4th of August, 1947, and raised in Cooperstown on Abaco. Because his family were not wealthy, he was always concerned for the poor. He became a lawyer and later became the representative for Cooperstown in Parliament. Up next is Mr. Michael Hartley Eldon. He was the first Anglican bishop to serve in the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Island. He was born in Nassau on the 8th of August, 1931. He contributed to the establishment of religion, education, and family island development. He also ordained 50 priests, created 20 new churches, added 20,000 people to the Anglican church. He died on the 7th of February, 2011. Last but not least is Mr. Perry Christie. He is the third Prime Minister of the Bahamas in May of 2002, when his party, the Progressive Liberal Party, defeated the Free National Movement. Perry Christie was born on the 21st of August, 1944, on the island of New Providence. He grew up in the Centerville area, best known as the Valley. He is an avid John Canoe fan and member of the Valley Boys John Canoe group. He is a lawyer by profession, became the leader of the Progressive Liberal Party in 1997. He is the representative for the Farm Road constituency in New Providence. Mr. Christie pledges that the Progressive Liberal Party will build patriotism, pride, optimism, and hope in the Bahamian people. Now, we have come to the end of our lesson. Can you name these nation builders? Pause the video for a couple of minutes and see how many we can remember. Okay, are you ready? First one up. That's right, Mr. Hubert Ingram. Who was second? Mr. Etienne de Buch. Third, Sir Lyndon Pindlin. Fourth, Dame Alberta Isaac. Fifth, Bishop Michael. Hartley Eldon. Six, Mr. Perry Christie. Seventh, Honorable Roland Simonet. Eighth, Samalo Butler. And ninth, Timothy Gibson. Do you know their contributions to the Bahamas? All right, we will do that in another video. Thanks for watching your lesson on nation builders.